Hello everyone and welcome to Mobility Academy. I'm the flexibility guy, Coach Alia, and in today's video I want to show you a beautiful exercise to work on your ankles, hips and legs flexibility, all right? Which is particularly useful if you want to work on your squat position, if you want to work on your splits, if you want to work on your lower body flexibility in general. But talking about lower body flexibility, let me show you my brand new book, Split Sucking, which is the complete playbook to learn the splits and drastically improve your flexibility level. Because as I always say, splits are flexibility. If you master the splits, you'll master your lower body flexibility and you can use that following the link in the description down below. All right, with that said, let's start. All right guys, so the exercise I'm gonna show you now is called the wedge and it's an excellent one to work on your squat position and the squat position is particularly useful to develop your lower body flexibility, so to work on your splits, to work on your pancake stretches and a, a wide range of movements that require legs flexibility, legs and hips flexibility of course, but also if you need to improve your squat position, this exercise here is particularly useful. All you need to perform this exercise Exercise right here is a support and a band and you gotta wrap the band around the support so I'm going to use a chair with some weights on it just to make sure it won't move but you can use whatever you want maybe a store bar maybe a piece of furniture doesn't matter make sure it's stable and that you got an elastic band a hard elastic band all right to perform this exercise right here so you gotta start in a squat position right here all right if you can't stay in a squat position comfortably I highly suggest you wear a pair of shoes just to raise your heels off the floor or put something under your heels just to stay more comfortable in the squat position. Now you want to wrap the band around the chair, all right? So you got to wrap the band. I'm going to do in this way, all right? And you got to wrap the band right here. And you got to, all right, all right. You got to grab the band with your hands like this okay so arms are straight torso straight you gotta stay in the position with the weight of your body in the center of your um of your feet all right so here in the center of the feet don't stay uh, don't lean back and don't lean forward as you can see i'm like the chair is stable so what I want to do from here, so I don't want to lean back, I don't want to lean forward, I, I want to stay with my weight in the middle of my feet. And from this position here, I want to pull on the band and I want to drive the uh, knees out. As you can see, I'm pulling and I'm opening my chest, I'm opening my knees out and I'm opening my lower body, okay? I'm on pelvic tilt in my hips, which means that I'm not closed I'm opened with my lower back, so I'm arching my lower back, all right? So watch these two positions. So here I'm pulling the band, here I'm resting in a squat, here I'm pulling, all right, here I'm resting. So I want to do these movements 10 to 20 times, which means that I want to start here, I want to pull, I want to open my chest, I want to drive my knees out. I want to straighten my lower back. I want an anterior pelvic tilt, which means that I want to stick my bum out, all right? And I want to come back. I want to drive forward. This means that I'm actually improving also my ankles flexibility and I'm coming back. I'm pulling forward and I'm coming back. Make sure the support is really stable. I open my chest, I anterior pelvic tilt, I stick my bum out and I come back. All right, guys. So this is how you want to do the stretch. After 10 reps, for example, you can stay in the stretch a little longer. So rather than stay here, I want to arch, I want to pull and I want to remain in the stretch. Here, guys, it's really important that you use your arms to spread your knees wide apart. This is the stretch. All right. This is what creates the stretch. All right, so you actually want to push with your elbows or with your entire arm, your legs out. All right, so make sure you're putting something under your heels. If you can't stay in the squat position for long, you just want to make sure you're, you're okay in the squat position. And once you are there, all right, same, same. So I'm here, I grab the band and here, the band is, is important because 
you might be thinking why can't I use something uh, fixed on the floor like a, a barbell or something that's fine it's okay but with the band you gotta kind of a resistance and thanks to that resistance you can pull better into the stretch okay so by using the band you got a resistance and thanks to that you can pull the body into the stretch easily all right so i pull onto the band i push with my knees i push with my elbows my knees out all right i straighten my lower back i stick my bum out and i open my chest i straighten all my trunk as if i wanted to drive my head up so my head up my bum out my knees out, my elbows out, and I pull, I pull, all right, with my, with my arms. I pull to open my body. And here, maybe on the last repetition, maybe the, the um, repetition number 10, I can remain here longer for five to 10 breaths, for example. And then I wanna ask you from the stretch, and that's it, all right? This is a wonderful one to improve your squat position because your squat position is such a wonderful stretch that you can improve thanks to the dynamic movements to start. So 10 to 20 movements where you actually bend your spine forward and then you straighten your spine. You straighten all the way from your butt to your head. All the spine is going to extend there thanks to the assistance of your arms which are pulling onto the band and opening your legs wide apart now these are the dynamic movements but when you you can also do that in an isometric way and the way i'm suggesting you do that is the following so you can start in the isometric stretch all right so you can start here okay you pull onto the band and you go into the stretch all right now once you are into the stretch you can do something like this i can remain here three to five breaths and i can apply a pnf contraction and a pnf contraction goes like this so first of all a pnf contraction is a contraction that helps you get deeper into the stretch because it relaxes your muscles more in the stretch all right and all you gotta do here is just to push your knees against your elbows all right so you hold this kind of contraction isometrically so it means like you hold that contraction for 10 seconds all right so i push 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 gently not too strongly because the adductors are so strong here so i want to push gently i want to focus on my adductors 10 seconds for example i hold the contraction i just push in with my knees against my elbows all right so i push 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 10 seconds and then as i stop i inhale bend my spine relax exhale and i get deeper into the stretch and i try to open my legs more way more all right as you can see as i am going into the stretch look at my hips here i have my hips really close to the floor and as soon as i open my spine as soon as i open my spine my hips come a little higher that's okay all right make sure that you actually try to push your hips down at all times that's important all right so as you are in the squat position your main aim here also in the open position is to drive your hips down so to stay in the squat position straighten the back trying to bring your torso per as perpendicular to the floor as possible as you drive the hips down as you squat down this is a squat movement so you want to squat down and thanks to the band open your body more all right guys now some people ask me what their stance should be so how to place your feet on the floor so guys it depends it depends usually hips width is the way to go all right but if if your squats maybe if you're more comfortable squatting with your uh, with your feet wider or closer 
that's okay. Do that as you do your squats, okay? It must feel natural. Also, your feet should be slightly, slightly externally rotated, all right? Now, just to give you a tip, I really love to use this exercise here during the warm-ups, all right? So as you warm your legs, warm up your legs, your hips, your ankles, maybe for a squat session, or maybe for a flexibility session, or maybe before a workout, I highly suggest you use this exercise right here to warm up your hips, legs, and ankles for the workout. All right, guys? So, we have seen the dynamic movement, we have seen the isometric stretch, and we have understood that you can use this exercise here as a warm-up for harder stretches. All right, but if you need a guidance just to how to create your flexibility workouts, remember that I got a, an online coaching service where we can create together a program following your goals and needs, all right, and to lead you towards your goals, all right? To do that, follow the link in the description down below and get a special offer today, a free call with me. All right, guys, now, with that said, that's all for the wedge, a beautiful squat exercise. If you give this exercise a go or you have any further questions or doubts regarding this exercise right here, please make sure to comment down below and leave that your question uh, or um, opinion or whatever, all right? It really means a lot to me, guys. It means a lot to me also if you leave a like to this video and you help me grow this YouTube channel, all right, guys? With that said, that's all from the Flexibility Guy, Coach Alia. Have a nice stretch and see you in the next video.